Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, working on the GMC motorhome. This here is uh, the cabinet that I've built that will go next to the sofa bed. So the sofa bed sets right here and the back goes up. I've got this on a little bit of a platform to show. The platform is at the same height as the sofa bed. So the back of the sofa bed comes to about there and then down and like that. Okay, so how this works, got these little cabinet hinges and I bought these cool baskets that just barely fit, but they do. Got a lot of Amazon. And now it's secured. So quite a bit of storage in there now, uh, in this base here. And then this upper part is where I envision putting the, um, uh, I don't know, a DVD, game players, uh, controls. And you'll see in here I've got two different sets of outlets. The orange one is the inverter, and then this is generator or you know, plug it in shore power or whatever. Uh, here I've got some 12 volt lights. So, so you can see what's going on in the cabinet. So yeah, let me show you what I did on the top. So all of this is um, is maple. The this bottom panel is maple plywood, and then this is walnut. I'm sorry, um, oak. And then this is walnut inlaid with the maple. This is hard maple. Uh, and it, you can see here the curve for the motorhome, so this will tuck right up against the wall of the motorhome. Let me turn off those lights. I'm just messing with the camera. A little bit more on the cabinet. Um, on this inlay walnut, I made a template out of uh, out of aluminum, and then carefully cut it out with a scroll saw and um, yeah just fit it together it was fun to do it in case you were wondering about what's going on back here with the power so I've got two different plugs the inverter the inverter goes to the orange one uh, I need to create the outlet that will plug into here but all of it gets hidden inside of the cabinet back there and then of course I've just got it jury rigged right now but that uh, 12 volt will connect to what I've got figured as a master switch that'll kill all of the lights with flicking one switch off then each individual light is switched so, yeah okay here's just a little progress that I'm making through the winter on uh, on the coach uh, specifically the sofa bed this is the frame to the sofa bed, uh, beautiful made in China stainless steel. Uh, it looks good, but man, it's thin. And I say that from the experience of here is a pretty good view of what I did to make it slide in and out. Uh, this is a, I don't know, one, one inch, three quarter of an inch uh, solid steel rod welded to the uh, to the frame, and then this is what's on mounted to the coach so that's how it works these are called cam followers um like master car probably uh i got them from a place in rockford illinois um and then the the actual furniture screws to uh i've got this as a spacer i'll explain in a minute but screws come up from the bottom to hold the the actual furniture to the frame that's just how it was designed um what I've done, in addition to mounting the, the casters, is I, I just finished welding this, uh, here, see a longer view, this um, four inch wide piece of stainless steel that uh, at the end of it, 
has this here. I'll drill a hole through it or something to be able to finish or to lock it uh, at its back position. So lock in the upright position. And uh, on the underside of of this stainless piece, and the underside is polished. I should show you that if I can't tip it over. Uh, yeah, so it's a lot shinier on the bottom because that's what's going to take the ride. Uh, okay. This material here, which I believe is called Delrin, it's like a cutting board is what it is. It's a really hard nylon surface and it comes in various widths. And So this is four foot long, eight inches wide. So my plan is to lay it down on top of the, the plywood deck that I built and screw it down to that deck. And then this stainless piece is the lowest piece to it and it can slide back and forth on the Delrin. Now, when it's in there in the coach, it's just above it a little bit. Um, I've just added an eighth of an inch with this material, the stainless steel material. So um, what I'm expecting is a portion of the, uh, the load from the sofa to ride on the Delrin, which is very smooth and it should slide back and forth very nicely. And then something, I'm thinking maybe just, because uh, I've got steel, that uh, that's what that platform is made of, is a steel platform with plywood on top. So I can weld into the steel with uh, a bolt or a nut and um, I don't know, a finger screw. That's probably what I'll do, but we'll see. Um, and then because I flipped the frame over as part of uh, the welding, that way I had a flat surface. These inner bars are like three eighths of an inch down on one side. And it was made so that the sofa screwed right to it with these cheap, thin bolts. They're really long, but they're, that they're skinny, which is, you know, double bad. Uh, I don't like them. I'm going to drill out the holes and make the bolts themselves that which screw into wood. So the sofa, the furniture is made from wood. Uh, I'll screw into that with larger diameter bolts, uh, wood screws, I suppose I should call them, and, and this spacer. So I'll just drill those out once I've gotten the bolts in. They're like, I don't know, uh, two inch long screws. Not huge, but two inch long. So that's the update. Um, yeah, thank you.